Okay, so excitement. We are getting ready to go down to Altai to have a look at some land down there. It's the first time we've been down there in probably a couple of years actually. And um, first time it hasn't been winter for meat, for an eater. And um, I'm just putting some stuff in the car and uh, checking the oil and stuff like that. I'm going to make sure the wiper fluid is uh, full as well. Then I need a torch because it's dark. All right. There we are. And, whew, there we are. So, we have light. So guys, we have cleaned the air filter, topped up the wiper fluid, topped up the radiator, checked the oil and transmission fluids, it's all good. And uh, so now we're just going to clean up and uh, head inside, have a sleep, and then tomorrow we're going to head off. It's about six hours, probably, well five and a half hours they say, but it'll probably be six, six and a, six and a half for us. Just because I um, have a baby to feed and little ones to stretch their legs and stuff like that. So, yeah, should be exciting. I'm excited. Um, starting to actually head towards moving to Altai like we've uh, planned. So, <sighs> yeah, exciting. And it's day one, hour one, on the road. Finally off, we're a little bit later than we wanted to be, but... Better late than never, eh? <laughs> Life with four little children in tow. Well, we also had to wait till they were in the car before we could pack the rest of the, the last bits of stuff because <laughs> the car's kind of small and you got to, otherwise you've got to climb over it to get into the car. Yes. So, yeah, we're pretty, just about max capacity here. <laughs> So I just stopped at the service station, gonna feed the baby, feed the children, toilet stop, you know the drill, so it's Rosneft service station, clean toilets, and uh, I guess if your car breaks down you can get it fixed. But yeah, just stopped about half an hour out of Barnall probably, and um, gonna have some lunch. <laughs> car is just packed. We've got um, a box there, a couple of bags under the seat, that's where the baby goes. We've got some bags out there behind the seats, more bags. Bags down here. Bags here, it's the lunch bag, cooler bags. Nappy bag. Pretty good. Nappy bag down there, needs feeding the baby, got stuff on the dash. But uh, yeah, so we're very, very thankful for everybody who's contributed to our van fund. Um, because um, a van would make this kind of thing a lot easier. There's not anywhere really to sit down that's clean around here. And it's um, cold still. It's not too cold out there, that's but true. it's just it's dirty, it's muddy and everything. So we, you know, if it wasn't if it wasn't so wet and muddy, 
we'd have the children outside eating. I might have still the take children. them for a Oof, little walk. Little walk to stretch their legs, but yeah. A van, yeah, makes this kind of thing a lot easier. It gives you a spot where you've got a bit of room to move around, but obviously more place for putting stuff, and um, you can have lunch in there. So once we've got once we've got uh, a house sorted out, then we can um, yeah, straight onto the car. Straight onto the car. A lot of the ones we're looking at are actually not very close by, so yeah, it takes a lot of time to go and look at them. Anyway, we uh, we'll have a bit of lunch, and then we'll be back on the road. So we've uh, we've made it to Beesk. We've actually driven straight through Beesk and we're now stopped on the side of the road. We're actually at the service station here, petrol station, and uh, just uh, feeding the baby again. And then we're going to meet the owner down in um, down near Bella Kurka. It's about half an hour from where we are now. It'll probably take us more like 40 minutes, I'm going to guess because um, we're just taking it easy trying to conserve fuel but um, it's very beautiful around here there's a forest over the road here four in the list a uh, boar you could call it I guess uh, at least in Russian they call it that in Russian very nice got the kind of yellow looking bark on it. Really like these trees. That one looks like it's got some kind of parasite or something on it. It's got a different type of leaf, leaf or something. Anyway, hopefully we'll get down there soon. Sometimes this is what the toilets look like. Oh, back on the road. So here we are, little tour, it's the Banya outdoor area over there, front door. You can park in here but it's all muddy so I didn't see the point. Entryway, come in, this is the hallway, and that's the bathroom. This is where the children slept. And then our room, this is the bathroom. It's, uh, much used as usual with us. The um, the water here has got like a really high um, iron content or something. It comes out clear but it leaves like this orange film on it. Like after one night that's what it looks like. It was white before. Well guys, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed our little trip down to Altai. I know we certainly had a great trip down. It was a long awaited trip <laughs> and um, we really enjoyed it. And uh, we hope that you stick around for part two where we actually look for a place to buy. Yeah. Um, which will be very exciting. If you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications for when we publish that video. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching and we'll catch you guys next time. Take care, until next time. Bye bye.